Hello friends, uh, welcome to the tutorial. Today we are going to talk about the access parameter used in pandas. Uh, many of you must have come across this uh, parameter access and uh, many of us have this confusion as uh, what rows or columns to delete and what is this access all about. So let's uh, uh, import our data set. I have downloaded a data set for today's session. Let's have a look at that. So here is our data set. Now, uh, let's say that uh, we want to drop this column mg. So let's write a command for that wine dot drop mg and let's drop it and there it generates an error now we want to drop this column in order to drop this column it is generating an error that uh, not found in axis that is we have not uh, provided pandas the information of this column that we whether we want to remove this whole column or whether we want to remove a row so uh, pandas is uh, inquiring for the information that is why here access command comes very handy now in order if you want to remove the column we provide with access is equal to one and let's have a look at the data set now so as you can see that mg column has been deleted and let's let's say we want only first five of the data points so that it becomes less messy yes uh, but uh, if you call our data set again it will show the column of mg again because we have not used the parameter in place is equal to true which we will use it later so what pandas does is is that it deletes the row of mg temporarily uh, because we have not uh, instructed it to delete it permanently uh, now, uh, if you want uh, to delete uh, multiple columns at once, you are always welcome to do that. Now, let's say you want to delete the columns mg and uh, hash and specify the axis equal to 1. Let's see whether it gets deleted or not yes the ash and mg are successfully deleted now what about the rows uh, let's say that you want to eliminate this second row whole second row we want to eliminate so access parameter also becomes very handy in this situation as well let's type command for that dot drop and now we will specify the index number that is 2 we want to drop second index number with axis equal to 0 so 0 specifies the operation to be taken in row and 1 specifies the operation to be taken column wise now let's have a look at our data set. So you can see 0, 1, 3. Second row is missing. So we have successfully eliminated the second row with the help of this access parameter. Uh, now let's uh, consider that if you want some mathematical operations to be done. So let's say we want to find out the mean so this function uh, provides the means of the particular columns 
as you can see on your screen let's say that uh, we want to find the mean with axis equal to zero what does it show the result is the same uh, hence we can say that uh, pandas has a default value of axis equal to zero in its uh, mean uh, operation what if uh, you try to pull uh, with axis equal to one in mean let's find out i dot mean with axis equal to one so it generates these so many values as you can see and it generates 177 or you can see length 178 values uh, let's check our shape of the data set what does it say what is the shape of the data set 7 that is 178 rows and 7 columns as you can see when we applied this uh, syntax find dot mean with axis equal to 1 it generates these uh, values of the mean with last uh, length is 178 that is it has uh, calculated the mean of all the 178 rows so what uh, i'm trying to say is that uh, when you specify wine dot mean with axis equal to 1 it uh, the pandas uh, automatically uh, works across the columns and it calculates the mean of uh, of all these columns with across 14.23, and when you apply wine dot mean with axis equal to zero, uh, this specifies that pandas is trying to calculate the mean with moving across the rows, that is moving downwards. So it calculates the mean of the respective column. Okay, now at last, I would like to uh, share you some shortcut now it becomes very uh, confusing at times whether to use axis equal to one for column or is it for rows so many of the time you go and check the documentation so to avoid that you can also work in this way uh, let's say uh, let's see a data set now uh, let's say that uh, you want to uh, remove dot drop the column of mg comma the column of ash now you want to remove is at this as a column so uh, i prefer to use it as uh, axis equal to one but if you having a hard time to remember what is one and what is zero you can also write it as axis equal to columns and let's see our result whether it generates or not so yes it successfully generates this we have successfully removed the columns of mg and ash as you can see similarly goes for rows now if, uh, as we have seen above we want to remove this second index now we can use it as point dot drop second row and we are specifying this axis equal to zero or if you are if you don't remember what the rows stand for you can always use it at rows and just have a look at the data set so as you can see the second row is has has been eliminated permanently or oh, sorry temporarily because we have still not used the parameter in place so uh, that is it guys pandas provides uh, such features uh, 
for uh, removing columns and rows and this access parameter becomes very handy for uh, data analysis and reduces a lot of our data effort so if you have any queries feel free to comment and please do subscribe and like this video thank you